Welcome back, class, to Ruthless, a Mass Effect story. I'm Snapwave, this handsome devil here. Oh, actually, I can't say he's handsome. He's He just looks weird. This weird-looking guy here is Iago Shepard, and we've just defeated the Thorian, or something. How do I know this isn't some kind of trick? This is no trick. The Thorian is dead, and I am myself again. My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. Mm. When she allied herself with Saren... So did I. Bullet to the head. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Yeah, yeah. You chose to side with Saren. So did Matriarch Benezia. Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Sort of she like tried to manipulate face, Saren, Garris. but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? With mind control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. Sovereign. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. Followers. They become indoctrinated <laughs> to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing Welcome. slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. So you suck? That's what you get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray his followers and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his guests to destroy the Thorian. No one is surprised. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? Cipher! The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. Big bug thing. Spoilers. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched I mean, and what? studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Don't care. Just give me some plain answers. Where is the cipher? It's inside of all of you. To understand. We need the animus. I sensed this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I melded with the Thorian. Uh, there's this thing called the bleed effect. You might have heard of it. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a Saren. Totally not a Vulcan to mind melt. Embrace eternity. You gross. Uh oh, what's going to happen there? <gasps> A planet. In space! Oh my god. Planets in space. Holy shit, girl. My mind is blown. I have given you the cipher. Just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you alright? What just happened? She licked my forehead. It was disgusting, Garrus. All I saw were more weird visions. It still didn't make sense. Their saliva's awful. Gift, the experience of an entire people. 
It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. See ya. You were allied with Saren. For all I know, you still are. I can't just let you walk away. Your suspicions are understandable. But you freed me from the Thorian and from Saren. I am on your side now. We have only your word for that. If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. So let me explain this choice here. If you choose to let her remain, you get Paragon points, uh, I think. And at the same time, she will show up in Mass Effect 2 and give you a little side mission thing you'd help with. But, screw her. You change sides too often. I have no choice. You must die. So be it. If this is the fate you feel I deserve, then I will not resist. I don't think there's any way to have her back in Mass Effect 2. That's the insurance shot. Without getting Paragon points. I can't believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. Well, it's you know. because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. I know you can't. All right. Do, 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 do. Hello, you, Gavin. Thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out of here. How did we end up here? Oh no, this is. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out of here. So, what's this exclamation point for? Is there like a quest that? Gavin Hossel. Plot. But I've already. Hmm. Okay. Da 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 da. Prologue, find the beacon, settle garrison, Pharaoh's colony saved. So that's all done. Somehow I did those missions without noticing. Good. Well, we're uh we're done here. Jong. All traces of the Thorian will be erased in short order. Good, good. Pharaoh's will have a second chance thanks to you. Now, how do I get the out of here? There. Glad to see you survived your encounter with the Thorian. I did, and I killed a Thorian, so you suck. Alright, so we want to go to the ship, right? The ship, that's where we want to go. Nope, oh, can, we, can we put a marker there? There we go, set destination. See you later, nerds. I'm out of here, and I'll catch up to you on the ship. I just realized that the side assignments actually were not completed. I'm going to go do those now off camera. You should already know what they're like. It... it doesn't hurt anymore. I can think my own thoughts again. And Good with company for you. money coming in, there's no need to choke down Varen meat. Thanks for everything. Hey! The now the water one you can't complete just like that, unfortunately. Pharos will be back in shape in no time, Commander. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be... I have my own thoughts again. Thank you, Commander. Ooh. Let's see here. There we go. You found something suspicious. Several months worth of human rations went del uh, were delivered to an uncharted world in the Voyager cluster. The logs aren't clear, but it appears they may have been dropped off somewhere in the absences. Alright, so more side missions. Alright, so the Varen one is done. Anything else I can finish off, just, you know, while I'm here? The Water Lady won't go down there without me. Free. I can't believe... I'm free. Good for you. I'm free. Good, good. Thank you for everything you tried to do here. Uh, you mean everything I did here? Jeez. Yeah, the water lady isn't doesn't let you off the hook so easily. So yes, I will uh, see you soon. Dun 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 dun. Gross. Ooh. Yeah. And Krogan's... Ah! And Krogan's! Why won't they just die? <clears throat> Hit him! Hit him! Beat him up! Yeah! Eat it! And we're done. 
Hi, Matcha. Have you given any thought to helping us with our water troubles? Yep, done. The water's back on again. Really? I'll need to get the relays going then. Also, Thanks you need to be less man. awful. Paragon points! Ah. Oh. Hey, so I forgot that it automatically starts this thing when you get on the ship. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? My brain's been scrambled like an egg. How do you think I feel? Rawr, rawr, rawr. I will not be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. We know. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Nobody's messing with my head anymore. I'm sick of dealing with these visions. Rawr, 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 I understand rawr, rawr. your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. Yeah, logic. Yeah. Make it fast. Times are wasting. Embrace eternity. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. I don't wanna. Yeah, we've seen this before. It's pretty gross. We know. Just keeps on going. That was incredible. <laughs> That's what they all, all this say. Time, all my research, yet I, I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so intense. Uh -huh. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? Don't be jealous, Ashley. The beacon Ashley. on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. Ah, <sighs> too bad. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Hmm. Sorry, I just got an email from our florist. Alright. I didn't see anything that would help us. Alright, great. It looks like we're back where we started. Quite Thanks, the opposite, Liara. Commander. I think my knowledge of the Protheans will prove useful before this is over. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least, but something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. Or... If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Cigarette or something? Whatever, get out of here. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. <laughs> yeah. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. Whatever, go away. We're done here. Dismissed. Get out of here, all of you. I've sent Except off the Ferris report, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Screw the Council. Don't bother. Aye, aye, sir. Everyone leave except Rex. I want to hang out with Rex. Who's... Oh, he left. Oh. <sighs> Guys, wedding planning is exhausting, but don't just let your fiancé do it all. Because they're tired, too. Yes, Commander? Nothing new there. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when we are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry for me. Joker. Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me. Right, we already talked you about this. Me. Yeah, Top we know. Top of my class blah, in flight blah, blah, school, blah. I earned that. All those okay, commendations in my I'm goodbye. Sorry. You mean? Okay. Yeah. All right. We already did this. This is fine. Goodbye. Go away. Go away. 
had that conversation already. Ah, Joker. I like you, man, but you can be super annoying. Door control. All right, let's go talk to some crewmates. Yeah, that'll be exciting. Open the door. Open it. I gotta run down these stairs without regard for safety. A heedless headlong rush down the stairs into oblivion. Uh, nothing new here. Kaiden! Everyone's least favorite anything. What are you up to, chum? Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. What's... How the deal you worked out with Jong, though? <laughs> if I ever get a speeding ticket, I want you to be my advocate. Let's talk man to man. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. I always There's have time to talk. There's gotta be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. <laughs> all in triplicate, I'm sure. Did you want to see me? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Your hair? Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. It's up to the Alliance to take its proper place. Even if we have to kick its ass to convince it to kick theirs. Yeah. We're out here trying to save everyone. We can worry about who's king after the dust settles. I don't know about that. Remember Vernus? There are a lot like him. Yeah, yeah that's true. Are, but there are a lot who aren't like him. Well, aren't you an Vernus, idealist? Who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Really? Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. Hmm. I'm glad to hear the bastard got what he deserved. He didn't deserve. He hurt a girl, broke her arm. Well, that she wasn't very nice. She for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Oh God! I didn't ask like for my story. I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came. A military issue talon, right in my face. No one cares. Loose, full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Hmm. Sat down by a kid. Vernus must have hated that. You he killed didn't him. Have time to hate it. I killed him. I know. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. On purpose. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetix folded a couple of years later. Oh, good so, for you. Yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. I don't know. You don't seem angry about the Council strong-arming the Alliance. Commander, I thought real hard about how to use my talents. When I swore the oath to defend the Alliance, it wasn't on a whim. Why am I talking to you? If it comes down to it, I am a soldier. I have to believe that my superiors can tell our enemies from people who disagree with us. If the Alliance is missing its chance, it's because Naive. of men like Udina, not the rest of the galaxy holding us back. Of course, your opinion is the one that matters, Commander. As long as you remember that, we'll do fine, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. I should return to my duties now. Commander? Yes, you should. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? I guess we'll talk another time, even though nobody likes you. Oh, that's my room. I don't need to go in here. I keep getting this mixed up with the uh, SR2, which has more going on in it. There we go. We need that for sure. Or maybe we don't. Maybe I just imagined that we needed that. All right, tentacle face. What's up? Commander. Are you coming to check up on me? I just want to talk. No, of course. I didn't come to I check up I get the up feeling you. you want to ask me something, Commander. Yep. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. Yeah, As I you said, I am that. not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Well, it's true. 
So you saw us as some kind of joke? As I said, I was ignorant about your species. But I have been watching you and your crew. I feel as if I have learned a great deal. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is we an admirable sure trait, but also an intimidating one. You can't argue with results. No, but there are consequences. Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as a bully. We are! We run over anyone who gets in your way. We do! It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I don't care what the rest of the galaxy thinks about us. But you should. The Council made you a Spectre because of what they saw in you. You are special, Commander. You represent the best of what humanity can offer. An I overblown asshole. History. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Really? You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue oh. me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. It's not. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. I care about Ash. A lot. I thought so. Still, I feel as if there is also some attraction between us, Shepard. Sorry, Liara. I'm not interested in you. Not in that way. I see. I apologize if I have made you uncomfortable, Commander. It will not happen again. Please, let us just talk about something else. Let's talk about goodbye. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Alright. Now, it's important that you shut Liara down completely, otherwise there's a bug where Ash will assume that you're going steady with Liara. Anyway, it's a whole thing. Just be careful with it. Anything back here? No. Sorry, that was really loud. <laughs> but it's always really loud, you know that. You're used to it by now, you can handle it. Let's go downstairs. I want to finish talking to people in this episode because I'm probably going to go to bed after this. I am super duper 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 tired. As you can probably tell. But I want to get some. some recording done. I want to get through this game looking too. Looking for supplies? I'm always looking for supplies. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Do you have anything useful? Nothing that I can afford. Oh, I can get the Spectre Pistol. And I'm going to. Thank you. Anything I can sell you? I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. Can't sell that. Can I sell that? Why am I not? There we go. Don't need that. That or that or that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Well, that could be handy at some point. Don't need that. Got a lot of shredder rounds for, but they could be useful at some point. Cryo explosive, don't use it. Uh, incendiary explosive, don't use it, don't use it. Uh, it's kind of a useless assault rifle. Just compare it. Yeah, it's not a very useful one. I don't know about that, haven't checked it yet. Cryo rounds kind of suck. Don't need those, but I'll hang on to them. Genetic buffer, don't need two of those. That's a very specific kind of thing. 100 shields, Shredder Rounds 5, Shredder Rounds 5. Oh, I've got Shredder Rounds 5 now, so I don't need Shredder Rounds 4. There you go, enjoy those. Do I have... Alright, we're good. Excellent. And we got those things. Ooh, Tungsten Rounds 5, perfect. Alright, so your pistol, you are going to take this one. Yep, there we go. And we can also put in something else here. Yeah, set weapon stability, 20 damage, heat absorption. Yeah, whatever. We'll pop one of those in for now. And did I level up? I did level up. I didn't even notice that I leveled up. Oh yes, Tegwall is playing the Elder Field. That's not even a Steam game. What are you doing, Tegwall? You're being crazy. Don't be crazy. Uh, sniper rifles, charm, store discount. Hmm. I'll wait till Intimidate moves up. Sells items for 5% more credits. Uh, we'll 
we'll just keep working on our biotics for now. Lakes. All right. Um, let's talk to Ash first. Oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Mm. Later, sis. Tell me you didn't hear that. Afraid I did. <laughs> oh, shoot me now. I will shoot you with my space gun. One of my sisters. That's Sarah, the youngest. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up, what's her name? To Sony? Liara? Why would you think that? She's got tentacle Scuttlebutt face. Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I can understand why. He's it throws off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. Really? Hmm. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So you are interested in her. Ah, oh, twisting my words. Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. Oh, Ash, What's you're up? so racist. You can eavesdrop on family mail. Mm. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With Dad on duty so much, I had to help Mom raise them. Hmm. Did your father serve with the fleet? Yeah, took any crap posting he could get that offered space time. You know what? He worked his ass off trying to get recognized, but he never made it above serviceman third class. It's the curse. I was real proud when I made chief. First thing he did was salute. What about your mother? You haven't mentioned her. You must know what military wives are like. Strong because they have to be, able to raise kids while dad's away on a six month cruise. Clearly not, if she you has did a the raising. In planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to see new worlds. She gave up her career to raise us, though. You have more than one sister? Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest. She's still in high school. With four girls, Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. Ha <laughs> ha! Where did you grow up? <laughs> All over. We transferred a half a dozen See, that was innuendo. to grade school. You go where personnel command sends you, right? I guess that's why What's I'm so tight with my glow? sisters. We'd have to leave all our friends every two or three years. All right, so that's good. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. <laughs> Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did, Mike. It's always a Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. If he really liked her, he wouldn't be pushy. Good advice. Yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, there are limits. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. Walk in the woods? She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. Hey I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years. Aww. Like a day's cruise. It's not like it was going to Earth or something. That's My so last sweet. day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. Oh dear. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look, this... Let me handle it. I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. Pure class, this guy. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. Good for her. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight-up puncher. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and Martial he arts. fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Chang, Mike Sarah. took Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. He learned she something useful. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. 
But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Tell me about Dad your father. Dad wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. Tell that to Tem Ray. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I have enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. Aw, poetry. For always roaming with a hungry okay, you're heart, going too far now. much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. Uh, yeah, I think that's Tennyson. <laughs> Bored now. I didn't know you liked classical literature. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, poem. he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Oh, that's sweet. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. I so behave. Probably not. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. Oh, sure. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Everyone has the right to believe what they want. Says exactly. Says so in the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. Freedom of religion. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few Just people who are really about weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power? Jeez. People are weird. What Hello, can you say? have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I believe in the galaxy. I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. What's your opinion on the last mission? Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Just wait till the next game. Given the option, I'd get the hell out of Dodge. See you later. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. You should see what my video settings are like. Uh, gamma. I think we need more gamma. Because some of these videos are rendering out super dark. Alright, let's try that. We've increased the gamma by a factor of 35. Wow, that's pretty bright. But let's hope it looks okay when it's rendered out. Uh, da -da -da -da, Rex... You know what? I'm tired. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Fair enough. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. Tell me more. What happened? I was betrayed. Dun, dun, dun. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. Surprise, surprise. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. And his face. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. Oh. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. And people liked that. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. Astray is a good word. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. Aww. I told them all to forget the about Genophage. War. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And yeah. for a while, we were getting They all love to focus on breeding. Some of the tribes started coming around. But Jared didn't. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. <laughs> a meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. With guns. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. Poetic. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. 
I did. But when your father invites you what? to crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. Then he was dad. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. He did a disco dance. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. There's that much at least. I escaped with my life. But not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. Did you get both hearts? That is why I left. And that's why I'll never go back. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You trying to make me cry, Shepard? It would actually be pretty funny, so yes. I've got some unfinished business with my family. But that's all. I love unfinished business. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. His brothers, cousins, roommates, son. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. Who has it? Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. For some reason? Now, it's in the hands of Ton Atus, a Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. A war profiteer. He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Sounds like we need to murder our way through all of them. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander, I want to be there when you find him. Rex... You'll be there always. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. <laughs> Till the next time, class, all the best.